people are called sons of God and he's got them by the tons. No exaggeration. I'm not exaggerating. By the tons. He's got sons. Metaphorically. God doesn't beget. Metaphorically, we are all his children. Is it not written in your law, such and such? So if, even if I said I'm God, according to the Jewish usage, there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm only claiming to be a son of God. But the Jews were looking for trouble. Can't you see? And when you're looking for a fight, or oh, any excuse will do. Where does he say, I'm God? Where does he say, worship me? So the DD had another idea. He said, you know, in the first chapter of John, chapter 1, verse 1, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that Word is Jesus. So he's God. I'm asking, where did Jesus say that he's God, or where did he say, worship me? These are the words of a Jewish philosopher called Philo. Long before Jesus was born, he wrote this in his own book. This, our John, or whoever he was, he plagiarized it. He stole that man's writing, and he put it into the New Testament in his own gospel. Plagiarized it. Word for word. But never mind. Whatever Philo had in his mind, we won't go into that. I'm asking the reverend. I said, do you know Greek? He said, yes. I did Greek for five years before qualification. I said, in that case, you can help me. I said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. I said, what is the Greek word there for God? And he started staring at me. It seems as if the game was up. I said, the word there is hothios in Greek. And hothios means the God, which you put a capital G, proper noun. You see, the Western nations, they have a system. That when you have a common noun, you put a small letter, and when you have a proper noun, you put a capital letter. You know that. Common noun, small letter, proper noun, capital letter. So for the God, it becomes proper, definite article, so they put a capital G. This is very good, that's your system. But I say, and the word was God. What is the Greek word there for God? No answer. I say, it's tontheos. Means a God. And for a God means any God. Means a godly person. It should have a small g. But I says, you know what? In 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, in the Bible, it says here, and the devil is the God of this world. The devil is the God of this world. And in Greek, the word is hothios. The God. I said, why did you give the devil a small g? Why are you grudging him a capital G? So why do you play fast and lose with the book of God? You, whenever it suits you, whatever suits you, you know, you put capital letters where it suits you and small letters where it suits you. God Almighty speaks to Moses and he says, Behold, I have made you a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. A god to Pharaoh. And you give Moses a small g. Why? For a word, W-R-D word, they put a capital G. But for Moses, they give him a small g in the Bible. So why do you do that? He said, I didn't do it. I said, I know you didn't do it. But I said, the vested interest that you represent, why do you play fast and loose with the book of God? If this is the book of God, why do you play fast and loose with it? This is it. This is our complaint. Why aren't you consistent? Because if you are consistent, perhaps all these problems wouldn't arise between us. Now, the only thing that is left that can make Jesus God, as the Christians say, is that he gave life to the dead. And this is the prerogative of God. Very true. He is still the storm. The Quran doesn't go into any details about his miracles. The only detail is about him speaking as an infant. That's the only detail. The rest is, it tells us that he gave life to the dead by God's permission. He healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. He gave life to the dead by God's permission. We accept. But the details, no details in the Quran. The Quran is not a book of stories. 